All right, guys, today we're in St. Louis, Missouri, and we're exploring the abandoned castle school. So right now we're checking out the main level, but later in the video we're gonna be checking out the pool, the basketball gym, an absolutely massive auditorium, and we're gonna go into this room nicknamed the Devil's Room. You'll definitely wanna watch to the end to see all these cool spots. Right now we're checking out this trap door that goes under the floor. That's if you want it to get real creepy. <laughs> then you crawl into this right. hole. Where detention was. This would have been the main entrance to the school here. And then we stumbled upon this room full of cooking appliances. This was probably the home ec classroom. We checked out a couple more classrooms. Then we walked down a creepy hallway and eventually made our way back to the stairs. We go up the stairs, I take one staircase, Rachel takes the other one. It was pretty nice. How was your staircase? We check out another classroom, then we take a peek out the window next to us. We keep going and then we take a look out another window that looks into the middle area. We keep walking and that leads us to one of the coolest rooms in this building. Maybe one of the coolest rooms I've ever seen when I've been urban exploring. Holy shit. This is a crazy looking room right here. This is awesome. I was blown away when I saw this room. Just the sheer size of it. It was amazing. Here's a shot of the stage. You can see the graffiti. The graffiti here is pretty cool, but the graffiti at the pool is still my favorite here. Had to show you guys one more shot of the seats just because I thought this room looked so cool. There's mushrooms growing on the floor of this place. I think you just call this fungus, not mushrooms, but you get the point. You think this is where they store like the props and things like that? We both thought this was just going to be some kind of storage area for stage props and whatnot but it actually turned out to be the gym, which was another one of my favorite rooms in this place. I thought the graffiti in here, especially along this wall was really cool. Since we're in the gym, I decided to play some abandoned building basketball, and believe it or not, this was actually my first try. I thought that was gonna take like multiple tries. Yeah, we should bring a basketball back here, get a pickup game going. If anyone wants to play the sketchiest game of pickup basketball they've ever played, let me know. Up here, we find a very heartwarming message written on this door. Suck my left asshole, why not the right? <laughs> why does he have two assholes? Right. He has a left and a right one. If you guys see someone with two anuses, let them know we saw their graffiti here. Up here, we prepare to enter the poop room. Pretty much what you'd expect it to be like in there. We go through another dark hallway, and then I remember a fun fact about this place. So there was this one place I went to. It was another school. It was actually designed by the guy who designed this one. I ended up finding out that the guy who designed this building also designed another abandoned school that I explored. Now we're about to go check out the devil's room. This says the devil lives here. It seems like every abandoned place we go to, the devil seems to have his own room there. I guess he just rents out places in every abandoned building he can. It's a summer home. He had a little hallway off to the right. And then you'll see his bedroom here in a second. That's the tetanus room right there. I feel like I've had nightmares about that room. Let's leave the devil's room. The other side of the auditorium. Let's check this out. It was definitely cool to see this room from the other side. I can't believe all the chairs are still here. No one went through and like destroyed them. I did think it was cool that all the chairs were still intact. It's rare to see stuff like that when you explore places like these. Imagine you're at school and you get dragged here to sit for like a hour-long performance in these shit-ass chairs. I can already feel the ass blisters. It does not look comfortable at all. After we leave the auditorium, we head upstairs to check out the balcony. I'm not really trying to be seen up here, but I might pop out real quick. We get a nice little view right here, and then after that, we check out this room, which I thought was cool because of the plants growing out of the floor. We find another window that gives us a cool shot of the rest of the building. Then we make our way to the library. Then I take a quick few seconds to give a shout out. Quick shout out to you and also you for telling me about this spot. Thank you guys. All right, back to the exploring. No more books in here. I was hoping we could come in here and read some great literature, like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You know what we gotta go see? This is gonna be fucking cool. And you know what? It was really cool until I started hearing voices coming from right above me. There's other people in here. We just heard other people in here. I think it's other people exploring, but like Rachel said, I'm not trying to risk it. They were pretty close by too. I know it may not seem like a big deal to you guys watching, but we're in an abandoned building. Anything could happen. And especially being here with my sister, I am not taking any chances here. Yes, I do feel as though I could adequately defend myself if needed, but I don't want it to come to that. 
I'm already doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. I don't want any trouble. We decided it's time to get the fuck out. We are trying to get out of here, but we both agreed we couldn't pass up the opportunity to check out this next room. I know we're on our way out, but you can't blame us. This room is super cool looking. The graffiti looks awesome. I'm glad we got to see it and we did get some awesome photos in here. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. I think we've heard that one before. My sense of direction isn't great, which is not a good thing when you're doing things like this. I'm just shocked at the odds of someone else exploring this abandoned building on the same day we do. We're looking for the exit, and we end up hearing these people again. It almost seems like we're being followed because we've already covered some ground, and the voices sound like they're nearby. And to top it off, we start hearing police sirens too, so that doesn't help the situation. I'll do a countdown. Right after it hits one, you can hear them a little bit. Say we just head for the exit. This part's funny because we're looking for a way out and I'm thinking we need to go down a floor and I'm like, I don't see any staircases going down. I only see them going up. Rachel informs me we're already on the correct floor. I'm feeling like a dumbass here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm supposed to be the explorer, I should know where we're going. So we focus our efforts and pretty quickly we do find the exit. That was a fucking rush. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of work into this one. That being said, I'll see you guys next Thursday for more adventures. Here's some outside shots of the building so you can truly see why they call it the castle school.